Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. And we are 10 Minutes or Less. Start the timer. <laughs> Ding. Dude. <laughs> so, MIT, that is speaking of Boston, one of the last episodes we did. I think it's in Ooh, Boston. Talking about Mitt. Yeah, dude. Yeah. They created a portable briefcase that has go- is going to revolutionize water filtration. A portable briefcase. Briefcase, yeah. That it, will it, revolutionize water. Right. They said it is a 22-pound briefcase. Okay. It, and it, it requires less power to operate than a cell phone charger, and it can be driven by a small $50 portable solar panel um, if you huh. need it to take it. And it said what it does is instead of using filters, it uses – electrical power to remove the particles from the drinking water that normally would you'd have to take put it through filters to make it happen okay and it says it uh re- it, and it reduces the long-term maintenance requirements so essentially you could buy one of these throw it on your boat with a mini solar panel and if you get stuck out in the ocean you can get clean water indefinitely because you have a solar panel that powers it oh it's able to take like salt out of the water too yeah it, it, it makes any water drinking water Okay. It says it's a culmination of a 10-year journey they've been working on. So it's taken them 10 years to get – but, that I mean, that that's a huge thing. Yeah, man. yeah. Like, that's pretty cool. I wonder, like, what degree it can actually uh, – it can actually filter. Right, like, like, if you, like, take a shit in a bucket and put it – like, is that going <laughs> to – like, can you pull all the water out of that and that's safer? Uh, you know, like I don't, I don't know how. Leave it to Jonas to take it to taking a shit in the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I asked the real question. <laughs> Wait, so what if I put the, a gallon of water in here and I took a shit in this bucket? Could I drink this? <laughs> exactly, dude. That sounds like something I would really I, ask somebody. I just yeah. picture the scientists like looking at you, like, dude, why would you take a shit in a bucket though? But what if that's your only option? <laughs> dude, why would you just not shit in the bucket then? <laughs> uh, anyway, look. Um, I lost my train of thought. I don't even remember what we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, I don't know what I was talking. Uh, I do want to know like the level of uh, of purification that it can do. Like uh, I've seen like some of the other things they have, like the straw. Have you seen the straw that? Oh purifies? yeah, there's something. Yeah, I've mm-hmm. seen some of those. They're more for like, is that the one that you can use like your pee? Is that what it's meant for? To use? It's I think it for, allows like... you to like go up to a stream. Like you can drink oh. water like out of a stream with it, but it's just I think it's just like a filtration. Right, a you filtration can you can find stuff. a puddle in the woods if you have yeah. no wood water and drink straight out of the puddle. Yeah. And it's supposed I ain't trusting yeah. that. Yet. I, it's very. I've seen people use it like in advertisements and stuff. I'm sorry, advertisements, but I would never do. But it I either. guess if it comes down to, I'm gonna die of thirst or trust that straw. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. But if you get like botulism or something from it, like. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, right. Like, I don't if want it the botch. Get out the what? I'm saying I don't want the botch. I don't want any botch, dude. I don't want gotch, botch, scotch, or rotch. And then I know they have like uh, some of the stuff that you can just like. Uh, it's like a powder that you can put in water that makes it clean. Like I've seen a person like put like in a bottle of water full of dirt, and then they'll put like some uh, some whatever type of, powder, yeah, or whatever. some component they'll put into it, and then like it'll totally separate the dirt from the clean oh, water. Oh, it's like OxyClean, and the, <laughs> but, but not it, but, exactly, dude. <laughs> Bam. Yeah, now, Billy Mays is standing there with cocaine on his nose. God, rest the soul man yeah. hey B- billy's in heaven right now billy zane billy billy, Mays <laughs> billy, billy zane billy blanks billy mays <laughs> billy blank billy bob thornton yeah dude it but blows no, my mind cool. the that's stuff cool. that th- that people are are working on yeah it's very cool that's very cool i like i, I don't know um if it really has a lot of benefit here in, in the states, because we already have like tons of potable water anyway, right, right. but it would be revolutionary for like uh, those countries where they don't have access to. <laughs> yeah, that but I, and I also, but I also think for like the boating industry and like people who take big, long, like if you're on like a uh, like a, a boat that would go across the ocean, like and something happens to your water filtration or you get stuck or whatever. Yeah. That's, I mean, that a lot of people get stranded at sea, die because they can't drink. Wa- they dehydrate. So, I mean, it's okay. So, under extenuating circumstances, yes, it, it seems like it would be helpful to have it as an option. 
But I, I feel like the boating industry has been around for, you know, since the, since the car industry. Yeah, since the country has been born. So we've already kind of like gotten ideas and like we already got answers to a lot of those questions. Yeah. Like, but a 22 pound briefcase compared to a giant filtration system. I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah. <laughs> it may be cheaper in the long run. I can't pick up one of these things at like uh, Amazon right now, can I? I doubt I'll it. order. One. I think they just did it, so they're probably like ten thousand dollars a piece okay, right now. I see, you know? Yeah, so uh, we'll see them on like a uh, big shipping vessel. Pretty soon, Grandma will get you one for Christmas. <laughs> I got <laughs> you. I got you a water purifier. I know you like to go kayaking. <laughs> and you're like, thanks, Grandma. Really, a twenty-two pound box on my kayak works great. <laughs> the machine gun Kelly was on the TV. <laughs> I used to like him when I was a kid. Yeah, machine gun told me this is the best way to drink your water. <laughs> Thanks, Machine Gun. <laughs> machine Gun. <laughs> I love how his first name is Machine Gun. <laughs> uh, I wonder if his first name is just Machine and his middle name is Gun. No, I like it better with just his name being Machine <laughs> yeah, Gun. Yeah, yeah, I, I dig it. Because it's really ridiculous because he yeah. is not a Machine Gun rapper. Have you uh, have you heard of any other crazy um, inventions like that that, you've heard, that are coming down the pike that you've heard of or something? <laughs> No, but I was watching, uh, I was on Reddit the other day, and I saw a bad invention that actually looked amazing. Oh, the burrito thing? You saw it, dude! <laughs> I was like, yo, this, I was like, this is actually a really good idea. Right. So, dude, like, he uh, he constantly posts on probably, like, TikTok, but uh, stuff makes I see him Reddit. on Reddit constantly, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, always on Reddit, and he makes uh, essentially useless inventions. So he makes a basically a funnel with like a holster where you can put a tortilla shell and you eat your burrito. Like a Chipotle burrito. Yeah, you'll eat your burrito over this funnel that just like funnels all of your stuff directly into a taco folded shell. tortilla or taco shell and it makes a taco for you. I'm like, that is the greatest Yeah, yeah. Idea. Well, yeah, well, not even that. It was kind of, I was thinking about, because I make tacos at home sometimes with like hard shells. Mm -hmm. And if like, if I could, and, they, and normally what I do is I eat them over a plate, let them just kind of fall apart, and then I eat like whatever's left over as a taco salad salad but if i could put a taco below the bowl right. and all of it funnels in and it makes another taco Into problem another. effing solved see now like while he made that as a joke there's actually like lightweight an industry for this Dude, it's it's a little niche but there's probably like every one of his invention videos in the comments almost everyone's like you should really make this i'd use that like some of them are dumb yeah. but but some of them people this are like it's even dumb but dude, if that, thing, like... if that thing cost five dollars it would cost two not it would cost you could 3d print that thing for a buck yeah and I, you sold them for five dollars and i feel you and see my shark brain so your shark brain is like how much? How much? How much of a, of a percentage for you to uh, loan him your entire life savings to to market it? Um, I how, mean, how much well, of your percentage? Well, here's the other thing: if I give him all my life savings, can he even get it off the ground? <laughs> 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 if, if that's the, like, oh. I would buy a stake in like some of that, man. You would buy a stake in it. Me, I'm looking at. It, I'm like, it seems a little niche. Um, it seems like something that I would use like maybe once or twice, and then I'd forget about. The kids for kids, it would be great. For kids, it would be for great. anything, dude. Any kid meal, just you. Uh, even if it's just a funnel that funnels so, it into a mother bowl, to then yeah, like it's so gross because this is basically like a trough. But, it really is. <laughs> Listen, he, here's what I here's what I would do. If he if I had to give him money, I would say give me one dollar from everyone sold. Okay, all right, and that's it. And they sell a million, million of them, I get a million dollars. So he sold them for five dollars. So you want a fifth of the company? It would be or, well, it would be, fifth, it would be twenty. A, it would be twenty five percent of his profit. Twenty five percent because it costs a dollar to make. He makes four dollars. I want one dollar. Ooh, you're cutting it. So if he's only making four, he's making he's making seventy five percent profit yeah. off zero investment. I think <laughs> if I give him all the money, I should get half, yo. You're not even wrong. Yeah, like, come on. Just because you got that's the idea. What, hey, but I'm just saying, like, you're, you're donating in your your, your, uh, your I would portion. do that. Yeah, yeah right. dude. I, because I feel like I feel like just on novelty alone, you could sell a million of those. There's 300 that, million people in the U.S. That's honestly fair. And and that's kind of like what I've always thought of is like, oh, where are we on time? Uh, What stupid app or invention could I make where I would make a dollar profit per one that I could sell to a million people? Uh, Peloton. <laughs> yep <laughs> yeah exactly but it's like you know you create a silly you app a and you sell it on the app store for a dollar if all you need is a million people to download it and you have a million <laughs> yeah, oh that's all you need no but like 
if you come up with something niche enough that's funny or the, a product like that, like I can see people getting that for like dad for Father's Day, like as a joke, like hey, hey, you messy eater, here's a here's your baby bib bowl, ha <laughs> ha, dad, because it's only five bucks. It's a yeah, gag yeah. gift. So it's like, but no one's spending twenty bucks for that thing. It does. It's just kind. Of, it kind of gives me like the fart scented candle, right? Kind of feel exactly. From it. And, and and granted, those have made millions over the years, hey, man. over the decades that they've been out. All it takes is an idea. It doesn't gotta be good. All right, Jonas. Well, uh, that's the how business about, we should get into. How about you create your lyrics so we can get this this uh, album finished? A million people download one song. <laughs> that's all it takes. One dollar. That's <laughs> Anyways, that's all time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazytown.com. Uh, subscribe, Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out. Uh.